So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about WSS 20 cross 1 and amplifier connectivity in the same side. So both the equipment WSS 20 cross 1 and amplifier limb is placed physically at the same location. That's why we are calling the WSS 20 cross 1 and amplifier connectivity in the same side. So you can see here, I have taken this piece of the circuit diagram in which we will focus on this WSS to limb connectivity. You can see here, we will focus on this WSS and limb connectivity. We will uh, see how the WSS is connected with limb, which port of the WSS is used to connect with the limb, uh, which port. Okay, so let's see. In this video, we will discuss about amplifier to WSS connectivity. You can see WSS and amplifier is always on the same side. So, if, uh, or we can say on the same location, amplifier is connected to WSS to serve two purpose. Okay, so we are introducing WSS to serve the two purpose first to add drop the wavelength and the second to pass through the wavelength to the other WSS and route to some different di uh, direction or you can say route to some different route. So this is the use of the WSS. So let's see the circuit diagram example which I have taken as a reference to explain the connectivity about WSS and limb. So you can see here, I have taken this circuit diagram as a reference. And this is a complete DWDM signal flow from one end to another end. Having all the uh, DWDM equipment, which is necessary here for this circuit. So you can see this is a site A, this is a site B. And we will focus on this WSS to limb connectivity. So let's see first the limb view, how the limb is uh, looks. So you can see here, this is the limb. You can see the line in player. Mm, this is, uh, limb is for the actually we are all the uh, series of amplifier it's called the limb so either it's a uh, SLA MLA or the SRA all have the physical uh, physically look like the same they have the same line B and line A 5 6 7 8 port is used for the 5 6 is for the street fiber and 7 8 uh, 7 8 is used to internal connectivity of the another equipment so that's why it's called the limb so you can see this is I have taken this is example of MLA3. So if this is the MLA3 the line diagram. This is the physical view of the MLA3 you can see. And this is a circuit diagram you can see. So the outside signal is coming into the port 8 and the signal is going out to the outside or you can say that to the fiber to the far end from the port number 5. And this port number 7 and 6 is used to connect internally with another equipment which is placed on the same location. So let's see. So let's see WSS 20 cross 1 and amplifier connectivity WSS 20 cross 1 view. So you can see this is <coughs> the line diagram of WSS 20 cross 1 in which you can see there is a switch port switch A, B, C, D which is the physical port number 5, 6, 7, 8 and these four ports are the ampere ports. You can see this is the monitor ports, this is the common monitor ports and this is the common in and common out 10 port you can see this is the fiber port which is used to connect with the fibers and this is the switch ports so let's see this is the WSS 20 cross 1 line diagram and this is a physical view so let's see WSS 20 cross 1 and amplifier connectivity look like how the physically how this WSS 20 cross 1 and limb is physically connected let's see you can see this is the WSS 20 cross 1 and this is the limb card so you can see here the port number 7 port number 7 is the line a out which is connected to the common in port of the uh, WSS 20 cross 1 and in the same way the common out 10 is going to 6 in line b 6 in you can see so this is the physical connectivity and this switch port is used to drop the circuit or connect it to the another WSS 20 cross 1 to pass through the traffic in between that. So WSS 20 cross 1 is not, not directly connected with another WSS 20 cross 1 but it is connected to the uh, another WSS 20 cross 1 via the fiber interconnect module. You can see the FIM or you, it is connected to the CCMD to drop the circuit via the FIM. Because this is MPU port, so it is not directly connected. It is connected via the FIM. But we are focusing here how this is WSS and amplifier is connected. So you can see here in WSS there is a common port which is used to connect with the limb or amplifier. 
so line a out is connected to common in port of the wss and line b in the signal is coming from common out port number 10 of wss and connected to line b in which is the port number 6 so this is all about the wss 20 cross 1 and the amplifier connectivity physical connectivity and you can see this port number 5 and port number 8 i have all, already told that this port number 5 and 8 is connected to the outside fiber so it is going to the fiber to the far end towards outside the fiber and these switch ports are used is connected towards the film to pass through the traffic and to uh, drop the circuit so thanks for watching